So when it comes to motorways, we have them for one reason, and that's to get to your destination fast. However, this is Clown World and the government are looking to reduce your speed in another strange way. Because the headline says that motorway speed limits have been slashed to 60 mile an hour as drivers face £8,000 fines every single day. Essentially, it goes on to say that the speed limit on four major UK motorways has been reduced to 60. And the thing is about this, right, they do say that they're doing it for safety. But honestly, I, I don't actually think anyone believes that anymore because it's just like a long list of things that they're looking to do to reduce your speed they're not happy with 30 so they're trying 20 now they're not happy with 70 so they're doing 60 it always goes one way it just never goes the other way and when it comes to motorways right we have them for one reason like that's it like it's just a main artery down your country like, there's there's no other reason for it so if they're gonna just start reducing the speed well you might as well just go on what like like village roads and a roads and stuff because like let's say the majority of roads that you come across are what like between 30 40 and 50 well if motorways are 60 then the margin of speed it, it really isn't that much anymore so it essentially just seems that they're trying to make motorways pointless and it says that 22,000 drivers were fined for speeding on a stretch of the M1. And they do throw those figures out there, like they're pretty negative. But if you think about it, they're not like new speeders. They're just people still going the old speed of 70. So like, I know that that figure is quite high. But when they factor the change into account, I actually don't think it is going to be that high. Because most of these people that travel on motorways are going to be like people who aren't local to the area. Like they're, they're not going to be locals. They're going to be people passing through. So they call it a short stretch. But like to any regular driver, that could be like the 47th mile that they've driven that day. Like it all just blends into one. So I don't know how the government can just make one single short stretch 60 and just call it a day. And the thing is, right, when it comes to the government, the people are probably still going to have to pay those fines. Like it's pretty unfortunate, but I, I don't really think they're going to be able to do anything about it. Hopefully a few people do dispute these fines because that will be interesting to see where that goes. But do you think that motorways should go down to 60 mile an hour? Or would you prefer that they'd actually go higher? And why on earth has a council wasted seven grand on a statue of Harry Kane that they've kept in storage? So, thank you for becoming one of the 26,953 subscribers. Thank you to the channel members. And thank you for checking out this video on screen. This country has gone crazy.